CoolersOnSale.com here for the best ice pack for a cooler ice challenge. What we've done is lined up five 35 quart Ingle coolers. They're all the same size, all same manufacturer. Put 10 pounds of ice, which you're seeing now. We went to the store, got 10 pounds of ice, threw it in these coolers, and then we've put the ice packs on top along with two beverages, and we're trying to see how long can these ice packs maintain the ice. The cooler all the way on the end here has no ice pack at all, so we want to see how how long that cooler can last with just 10 pounds of ice in it with no ice pack at all. Next up we have the uh, Yeti ice. We have two two pound Yeti ice on top of 10 pounds of ice and two beverages. Next up we have the Ingle. This is the uh, 20 degree uh, model. Ingle makes multiple different ice packs. This is the 20 degree model followed by the Arctic. This is uh, the Chill and Brew series, they have several different ice packs as well. Last but not least is the Cooler Shock. This is slightly different than the rest of the ice packs that we're testing. These are the traditional style. This one requires some setup. We have a full video on how to set up your Cooler Shock, so be sure to check that out. It's a slightly different style ice pack. So what we're gonna do is leave these ice packs out here all day, all night. We're gonna rotate the beverages that we have in there, two beverages in every cooler, three times a day to simulate actual use. And we're gonna be reading the temperatures on top. We have the transducer set right above the ice pack in every one of these coolers. They're all roughly about the same and the ice packs are all roughly about the same size. We'll have the full dis full specs in the description below but to give you an idea of where we're at with no ice pack at all 45 and a half degrees on the inside and 96 degrees on the surface of this cooler. The Yeti ice is reading 36 and a half. Ingle is reading 42.2. The Arctic is roughly 40 and the Cooler Shock is 41.7. So they're all within a 10 degree range with the uh, cooler with no ice pack being the hottest. I'm gonna leave them out here all day in the sun. We're already reading, like I said, uh, between 96 and 99 degrees on the surface of these lids. It's not even nine o'clock in Florida, so these are all gonna easily go uh, above 100 degrees uh, in the afternoon. We'll take temperature readings uh, halfway through the day and then in the evening to keep you posted on see how the progression of ice melt goes. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for a full update after 24 hours of the best ice pack for a cooler ice challenge. Twenty-four hour update for the best ice pack for your cooler challenge. As you'll see on the inside, the cooler with no ice pack at all has very significant ice melt. Uh, I'd be really surprised if it makes it to the end of the day without completely melting out. Uh, the leaders of the ice pack are the one here in the center, the Ingle. Uh, definitely like little to no ice melt. And then on the end, the cooler shock has just a little bit of ice melt. Uh, all of the ice packs are starting to turn to liquid, so they're not not uh, frozen anymore. The cooler shock may be the, the slight uh, exception to the rule because it's still kind of slushy. Um, all the coolers are reading between 40 and 42 degrees, so they all have roughly the same internal temperatures. External temperatures right now uh, are between 78 and 80 degrees. Uh, in the afternoons, we were hitting 124, and ironically enough, the hottest temperature reading that we were getting were on the lighter colored coolers, the, uh, the white cooler and the gray cooler. Uh, and I took a video of that so you'll, you'll see that, I'll splice that in. Um, 
So, so like I said, basically what we're starting to see is the ice packs are basically allowing an additional day, maybe an additional day and a half, two days of ice retention. Um, we're going to see exactly how long each ice pack will hold that ice. But seeing that the cooler with no ice pack has almost run out and the rest of the coolers still have ice uh, d tells us that the ice packs are definitely doing their job. So we'll pick back up through this afternoon and this evening and be back tomorrow morning for a 48 hour update of the best ice pack for your cooler challenge. update for the best ice pack for your cooler challenge and we finally have some data here the cooler with no ice pack at all ran out of ice uh, yesterday evening and the rest of the coolers uh, still had ice now this morning uh, the Yeti ice had literally one sliver which you're probably seeing right now of ice the Arctic ice not to be confused with Arctic the cooler by the way because I just realized that that could be misleading the Arctic ice is uh, a, a separate uh, brand uh, the Arctic ice has no ice in it. Cooler Shock has a, a few chunks and Ingle still has uh, quite a bit of ice left in it. And the internal temperatures are reflecting this as well. So the cooler that ran out of ice last night, uh, external temperatures are 80 degrees on the, on the lid and 71, 72 degrees on the inside. Uh, the Yeti ice, which uh, again had one sliver of ice in it, is uh, 81 degrees on the outside, 46 on the inside. The Ingle, which again still has a pretty significant amount of ice in it, uh, 81 on the surface, 42 on the inside. So you can see that difference. It's, uh, it's definitely much colder. Uh, the Arctic ice, 81 on the outside, 50 degrees on the inside. So you can see it's already starting to warm up because there's no ice remaining. Last but not least, the Cooler Shock, which still had, uh, which is probably in the second place, has the most ice remaining, uh, 80 on the surface, 48.2 on the inside. So I anticipate that the uh, Cooler Shock is is going to run out of ice probably this afternoon. I think the Ingle may make it uh, through this evening and into tomorrow morning. We're going to keep checking them halfway through the day and then uh, this evening to see how long it goes. Uh, but long story short, it seems that with an ice pack, you're getting an additional uh, 12 to 16 to 24 hours depending on the ice pack. And again, re remember that we only had 10 pounds of ice in these 35 quart coolers. So it only filled it up maybe uh, 20, 25% of the cooler and then the ice packs were on top. So that plays a big role. So we've noticed that pre-chilling your cooler usually extends your life of your ice uh, about 24 hours and using an ice pack will extend the life of your ice about 12 to 24 hours depending on what ice pack you're using. We are going to run the end of this test uh, probably will come this evening or tomorrow morning then we're gonna refreeze the ice packs and put them back in the coolers with no ice at all so you can see the difference in temperatures of the ice packs and see how long they last. So this is uh, kind of the end we're gonna keep running this and have the results directly after this video of how long each ice pack uh, lasted and 
again the the temperatures as well uh, this morning when we we reach the end of the of the test so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe it's what helps us keep going and here come the results of the best ice pack for your cooler ice challenge